Um, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, parents, and of course, our graduates. It is a great honor to stand here before you today to, as we celebrate the achievements of our remarkable students. This project, a collaboration between the Development Office New Generation Academy, Family Health International 360, and funded by the Bureau of South and Central Asian Affairs uh, at, um, at the US Department uh, of State, has been nothing short of a formidable journey. We knew it from the beginning. Preparing for entrance exams to U.S. colleges in a Central Asian country is no small feat. It's like trying to explain TikTok to your great-grandfather and his friends. Everyone is intrigued, but no one really knows what you're talking about. But look at you now. <clears throat> Some of you have tackled those SATs and IPTs and admissions essays and have been accepted to U.S. colleges. Congratulations. <laughs> have successfully passed the entrance exam to this university, American University in Central Asia. Congratulations to you. <laughs> but all of you have gained priceless experience, valuable skills, and lifelong friends amongst your peers and instructors. As your instructor, I often ask you one question in class. Do you remember what it was? Apart from, did you do your homework? <laughs> the question was why? Why did you choose A over B or C? Why did you change your mind? Why do you agree? Why do you think so? I wanted you to question the test uh, answer options, each other's opinions, my explanations, and even your own thinking. My goal throughout this was not to make you hate the tests even more than you already did. I know how tired you are of all the essay, uh, essays, exams, and tests that you have right now in your life. I wanted you to become critical thinkers who don't follow the crowd just because, but instead who know exactly what you want and why you want it. We, the instructors, also ask questions. What are the chances of group one getting Oscar for that movie they created for the talent show? We all want the sequel, by the way. How likely is it to gather all the biggest introverts in the world in one group, group two, <laughs> and still spark discussion? What could possibly stop group three from doing their homework, considering their stellar preparation record? Is there a question that group four couldn't answer? Can Valeria devise a schedule that accommodates every single student's needs in group five? <laughs> you all worked hard and uh, accepted any challenge that we threw at you. Turn a meme into a whole academic presentation? Check. Create an annotation for a brutal 17th century fairy tale? Easy. Make a podcast like a pro? Done. Recite Shakespeare in, uh, in front of all of your classmates? Nailed it. Help collect money for an orphanage? Mission accomplished. And you didn't seem uh, to get tired of all of this, or us. In fact, I remember after our introduction to research class finished, uh, I would come to the campus and I would meet some of you and you would tell me that you miss me and my classes. And I was remember thinking, what? You want me to keep teaching you about academic research? Your desire to learn, together with creativity and perseverance, is truly inspiring. And now, as you stand ready to embark on your next adventure, remember this, you are more than ready. You face down some tough tests and come out victorious. Whether it's navigating college applications, tackling new academic challenges, or even figuring out how to pack all the things you want to take to US with you into one suitcase, you've got this. So let's celebrate your achievements and look forward to the bright future ahead. You've shown that you can turn stress into success, confusion into clarity, and hard work 